Today I would like to talk about on Teachable Moments, what is a woman's worth? What is a woman's value today? So I don't want to mention any names because I don't want to be gossiping. So I ain't going to say no names, but not too long ago, one of these guys on YouTube I don't know if it was his own channel or not, but he was talking to a woman that was in her, I think she was 60 years old and she looked very good for her age. And so he, the lady was talking about getting married, how she wanted to get married again. I think she had been uh, divorced once or twice and he well, she had a list of the type of guy she had. One, I think she was still married, but she was in the process of getting a divorce or they were separated, but she was looking for another man. And she was just complaining about her relationship. But I don't want to talk about what she was complaining about. I want to talk about how that he was saying to the woman that because of her age, her value or her worth was low. And that just really struck a nerve with me. Not because the lady looked good for her age, but it's like, who do he think he is? Where, where does this, where in society ever? First of all, according to the Bible, because a lot of people don't understand about God, his true nature. God has never considered women less than. When the Bible says a woman is a weaker vessel, that's not what he's talking about. That's not what he means. And so this guy, he was basically demeaning the woman saying, oh, your value is low and the chances of you getting the type of man you want. It's never going to happen. Now, I'm not going to talk about remarriage or nothing. I'm just saying the fact that he was demeaning her simply because she was 60 years old. He was very handsome, looked like he was about, I'm going to guess, in his 30s, maybe late late 20s, early 30s, somewhere around there. He's a very handsome guy, but I'm like, you don't have no right to talk that one, to that woman like that. And who do you think you are? You don't have no right to tell women their value is low. Talking about, oh, he said a woman's value. A man has more value as he ages compared to a woman. I don't care. That's no, that's his opinion and it's very rude and demeaning to women. And so that's why I just want to talk about that us, that women, our value is high constantly through life. Just because I can lift a hundred pounds, maybe some women can in their eighties. I've seen some women in their 60s, 70s, 80s that can lift a hundred or 200 pounds. So I'm talking in general. But even if I can't lift 100 pounds when I get 60 or older, that doesn't mean my worth goes down. So a woman's value should not only be measured or even at all by her physical strength, but her wisdom. And so if a woman is older, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and she has wisdom and she applies that wisdom to her life and to her family, including her sons, if she had any, or male males in her family, uncles or brothers or nephews, cousins, on and on, then that woman is, is of high worth, high value. We're all of some value to God until our last dying breath. And then even then thereafter. But I'm just saying in general to to say she's not worth nothing simply because she was 60. And that basically she could throw in the hat. He was saying when no man going to want her because of her age. That was just like so rude and condescending. And he was very, to me, he just came across as a narcissist to say this to this lady. She wasn't drop dead gorgeous or nothing, but the lady looked good. I couldn't believe she was 60. She looked at like 40. And so for him to say that, I'm just saying, no, women, we have value. We have value, especially 
what the Bible calls a godly woman. A Christian woman, yes, we have more value in a spiritual sense. If you're going to give value to your family, you don't, it's not about your looks and whether you married or not. That doesn't give us value. That's a, can be a blessing, can also be a curse. But that doesn't give you value. Our value comes from who we are. Child of God or not, and what, not what we own. Our value comes from who we are, not what we own. And so I'm just, I'm speaking in general. And so, and, but we all have value. When God sent Jesus, that was for the whole world. And so, but in God's eyes, it's the godly woman, the woman who reveres him, who fears God, woman or male. That's the person of more value in God's sight. But God loves us all. He created us all. He sent Jesus for every last one of us. <sighs> And so if you're a human being, you have value. If you're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus years old, you still have value, even if you're a woman. Even if you're a man, men's value does not outweigh a woman's just because he's a man and just because he could still hold a job. And I am not, I'm not, I don't know if I fit in the feminist movement or not. I don't think so. And so that's not what I'm saying. I'm just speaking in general. And so anyway, I just wanted to share that, that we all have value, especially women, regardless of our, not especially women, but including us women, regardless of our age. And so if any of you know who the guy is, no, don't, don't even comment. Don't even put his name or nothing. But it's just something I saw on the internet not too long ago. And it just really upset me. I just want to set the record sh straight. That all women have value regardless of our age. Single, married, divorced, or widow. God cares about us and we all have value. And we will always have value. Until the day we die and leave this planet. So, yeah. We have value. We're worth more than diamonds or pearls. Especially Christian and God-fearing women. We're, we're worth more than diamonds or pearl. And we're a blessing. As Christians, faithful Christians, we're a blessing to our families. To me, personally, it's embarrassing when you see an older woman acting like she's 20. I'm talking about a woman like past 50 or 60 or 70, still acting like she's 20. You know, you know, not really encouraging and helping her family in a wise way, especially as far as sharing wisdom with them and helping them make it navigate through life. And so, but that, the, but for me personally, that's the type of woman I want to be. I want to be a blessing to my family. If, if I can't do nothing physically for them, I at least want to be able to pray for them and share with them some wisdom. And so it kind of reminds me of the, the details of the Proverbs 31 woman. A lot of you follow my ministry, you know how I feel about the Proverbs 31 woman. But in general, there's a lot of good qualities of the Proverbs 31 woman. The only main thing, problem I have with it is that she had a lot of money. And today we don't need a lot of money to have value. We don't. No one does. God created all of us. It doesn't matter. We don't need a house, a car, a boat. We don't need to be married. We don't need to have kids to have value. No. All we need to be is a human being. And all human beings deserve to be uh, treated right with dignity. All of us. So, yeah. So, that's all I want to say. I, I can ramble on forever about this, but I just want to put that out there. That, that yeah, we're all of value. It doesn't matter our age or our gender. We all have value our entire life. We can't measure value simply because someone can live for something or can get a job or maybe get married again or still have kids. So, and so you still ain't more valuable. That's just your, that's just you. That's the way God made you. That's your contribution to society, but it doesn't make you better and doesn't make the other person any less. Okay, I can go on and on. So please comment. Share your comments and thoughts below. I really wish you guys would comment more, please. I want to chat with you. Okay, see you later. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.